everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the brand new Teradek Color. This is a lookup table or LUT box, uh, which allows you to take an incoming video signal, SDI or HDMI, apply a lookup table to it to correct the image, and send it back out to a monitor uh, for viewing. Uh, very important, of course, with today's digital cinema cameras who often record in a log or a raw format. So uh, this is a great box to have for a variety of applications. Uh, now there's a lot of different um, LUT boxes out there today, some really great ones. Uh, but what makes this unique is that it's both wired in the form of Ethernet as well as wireless. So I can connect to it via Wi-Fi, set up a network here or join a network uh, and control it remotely. So I can actually put this guy on a camera and have it live there, uh, which is great. Uh, beyond that, it's also a cross converter. I have the ability to uh, send in both SDI or HDMI signals and then send that back out via SDI or HDMI. So cross conversion is, is great to have. It takes that one less box to have on your camera. Of course, in the case of an Alexa Mini, which does not have HDMI, having this converter on there would be very nice. So cross conversion is a great option. As I said, uh, Ethernet control. Uh, I can actually connect to it via Ethernet if I don't want to have to deal with Wi-Fi. Uh, but also via Ethernet, I can take the output, uh, the Ethernet connection on an Alexa Mini here, or a Red Dragon, let's say, and, and actually access their remote control functionality. Uh, so on a, a Red Dragon, for instance, which doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi, I can actually plug it into the Ethernet port and then connect to the Dragon via uh, like full control for actually remotely controlling the whole camera. So uh, it actually creates a network that a camera like the Mini or the Dragon can join, and then I can sort of access it easily. So. Uh, it's also sort of essentially a network access point, so it's a great option there. Uh, on the front of the system, I have a small OLED display, so uh, if you're not someone who wants to remotely log in often to control and change things, you can actually just turn on the system, uh, configure it, and set in a lookup table that you may want to use. Uh, there's several presets in there, or you could log in and just apply a lookup table, load it in there, and then just turn it on and use it. So I can select those LUTs right there from the side. That's a huge functionality in itself. Uh, and then uh, and go from there. So uh, what I want to show you uh, now is the, uh, the uh, wired or wireless functionality using, using it with a piece of software called LiveGrade from Pomfort. Uh, LiveGrade is a very popular uh, live grading application. So And it does work directly with the box. Uh, and we'll also check out the, uh, the web UI for the system. So let me plug it into my computer here, my, my DIT cart, take the SDI output of my Mini, uh, and we'll see what this all can do. So check that out. All right, I've uh, hooked up and plugged in the uh, color, sending the SDI output of the Alexa Mini here into it, and then the output of the color into this monitor here, as well as into my computer, uh, allowing me to control it, though, uh, is actually a Wi-Fi access. I've, I've joined the, uh, the ad hoc network that the uh, color creates, so now I can control it remotely. Uh, I could, of course, plug in Ethernet as well to do the same, uh, but I'm, I've joined wirelessly. So uh, I want to show you now uh, the two ways to control the box. Uh, one, um, via their web UI, and the other via uh, Pomfort's LiveGrade. So I have both hooked up here. Let's go check out the, uh, the web UI first to get an idea of what that's all about. Okay, so here's the uh, web UI for uh, the system uh, has three basic simple menus, color management, network settings, and system settings. System settings is for all your firmware updates and uh, basic configurations. Network settings is where you would set up all of your Wi-Fi or wireless controls. Uh, and also this is where you would be able to access a camera control option, uh, let's say with working with Alexa Mini, at the, if you were hooked up uh, and set in, in the box to be have enable camera control, essentially creating that network for the camera, it would show up here as well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have the color management window here, uh, which is where you would actually select from the built-in lookup tables or load in your own lookup table. Uh, right now, I have it set to Alexa Log C709, uh, which is a, a for, great for this Alexa, obviously, a mini. Uh, you can see that LUT applied here. Hit the split button. You can see the, the, the log image and the, and the, the LUTed image here. Or go to the original signal and just see the uh, log image. So I like this option uh, in itself. I'll go back to the graded image, though. Uh, this is the uh, idea here. I have several different lookup tables uh, already loaded in. And of course, I could add my own, add a new look, and load in a, a 1D LUT, a CDL, or a 3D LUT. So lots of options there. Very, very nice. All right, so web UI, very straightforward, easy to use. Love it. Now let's go into uh, looking uh, to, to working with uh, LiveGrade, Pomfort's LiveGrade. 
Uh, the latest version supports that. You do need the pro version of LiveGrade to do this, but uh, well worth it for the functionality. So I'll go ahead and leave this and come into here. Um, so in this uh, interface here, you can see I have loaded up now the device manager. I can see that I've added the color by an IP address. That's the configuration. That's the version. That's the one I have connected. Uh, I, can, I can add that in uh, via the Wi-Fi. It's very easy, very easy to find as long as you're on the same network with it. It just found it immediately. And I do have it in, coming into my computer, uh, the signal coming into my computer via my Ultra Studio. That's what that little window is here. I can reset my colors, take to neutral here. And you can see right away my image changed. I can go ahead and load in a preset LUT. Uh, let's see, Rec 709. And again, you can see it applied. Uh, and I can do things like change my color and contrast, increase my saturation, uh, you know, fully grade this image as you would expect. So I'm live grading it. I am wirelessly talking to it. It's happening instantaneously. Uh, and of course, I could choose to uh, save any settings that I have here right onto the box. So if I wanted to have the camera run away and not be in my Wi-Fi network anymore, I could do that, leave it on the camera, and then when it comes back into uh, a range of Wi-Fi, I can reconnect to it and keep working. So uh, really cool that it works in live grade, great UI, pretty straightforward, easy to use. Uh, and again, 33 points, it's a very accurate system. So uh, that's a great new product. I'm excited to have it here at Able. Uh, come check it out anytime. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.